Hi, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I thought we would work on PowerPoint and take some basic slides and work through them as we do in class. And beginning with our, this is PowerPoint from Office 2010, and the first thing we want to do is clear out some of the stuff and set our slide transition and also set our background at the same time. So let's go up to Home tab and hit Layout. And from Layout, uh, I prefer to start with a blank slide every time. So I'll we'll click on blank, it makes those pre-formatted boxes go away. The next thing we want to do is um, set our background. So we can go to Design tab. Even though there's lots of uh, sample backgrounds here, I like to go over to the background area, the background ribbon, click on the little arrow next to that. And today, even though we have many choices here of possible backgrounds, I want to use a picture or texture fill. When you select this particular choice, you have then the option to insert from file. So that means any image that you've captured that would make an appropriate PowerPoint background you can use. So let's go there and let me go to my folder that my students use in Drive S and go to my Davis folder in CIS 101. I have a folder there called Citrus PowerPoint Graphics that will work for us today. Open this up and you'll see one of the images entitled Background Grove. Now if you do not see these thumbnail images you can go up to Views and on Views you have choices so if you're not on Thumbnail go ahead and get on Thumbnail Views instead of List or Details because those are just going to give you the words for each picture. You want thumbnails. You want to be able to see what you're looking for there. So Background is Grove is actually what we're going to use and you can see it in the in the background now. Now, before you leave this screen, you want to also say apply to all. So let's select select that as well as close so that every new slide that we ask for in this document will have that same background. Now, we have taken this image and we have darkened it somewhat so that it makes a better background. You don't want a background that competes too much with your foreground images and text. The next thing we want to do is set uh, slide transition. Slide transition is how one slide dissolves or comes into being uh, comes into being the next slide. So uh, dissolve is one of the transitions we use quite often. So if you will go to your transitions tab, and there's lots of transitions here. However, some of them are very abrupt, and you really want to stay with something very subtle. So I suggest you click on the down arrow and just go down to dissolve even though it says it, it's an exciting transition no it's very it's it's uh, it's not too dramatic so let's just pick that one and we also must state apply to all on this and this is kind of hidden but it's over here apply to all that way slide transition will be applied to every slide that you create and you won't have to go back and reset it every time the next thing we want to do on this one of course is obviously save and give it a name. So control S for save or click on your little floppy disk icon and I'll just save it back in my folder. This is a basic 101 PowerPoint. And the next thing we'll do is insert our title bar we have two items in the title bar that show up on every single slide in this show. So we'll insert picture. And it'll drive us back to that same folder, which is what I want. And the two parts to this title bar are the Warrior Citrus title graphic as well as the Orange Man. So let me insert this title graphic, which is just a word art that I've created to uh, into a graphic so the students don't have to worry with word art just yet. I'll put it up to top center and I will also just kind of eyeball that and make sure it's even on the slide. My next part of the title bar is the orange man. I'm going to insert him as well. So insert picture and orange man is just a little gif image we can put in. There he goes. He goes right up underneath all that. So it makes for a nice little title bar. And um, at this point, uh, we need to realize that the background and this title bar are consistently on every slide in this slideshow. So instead of using the master slide process, which I really do not care for, I would prefer to just take this slide that everything's set on, go to the slide sorter on the far left, put your mouse over that first thumbnail slide, 
right click copy and just go below that you see the big cursor blinking there and just go paste 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 all the way down if you're on the home tab you should just see paste however many you want you can always delete extra slides if you don't need them and that makes sure that your title bar is in the exact same spot on every single slide now the next thing I want to do is um, get everything else placed on this slide and then we'll go back and talk about animation for this slide for this title slide which is what the first slide always is um, we want to um, insert the program title in our case it's it's some text and this is what's different about PowerPoint with PowerPoint you don't just start typing um, everything needs a text box first so insert text box and then you'll just kind of casually draw your text box in there and then you can go back and format the text box this particular one needs to be uh, Times New Roman 48 point bold and yellow and we will select those particular items Times New Roman just type TI to get there quickly 48 points so everything in PowerPoint is very large bold and the color is going to be bright yellow and we can type at this point we're ready to type a leader in citrus uh, management and I actually did a shift enter there after citrus so to drop management down to the next line now I'm also going to do a trick where I make my text box just as wide as my slide and I do that because that way when I hit center I know that program title is centered on the slide as well and the next thing I want to put in there is presented by whoops I accidentally went to slide two let me click back on slide one and next thing is to put a little bit of text box down at the bottom that says presented by and your name so insert text box go down to the bottom that's a different font size and um, color I believe no still yellow okay it's times new roman 24 point bold and yellow it's a little bit different there so times new roman uh, 24 point bold and yellow and then type it in presented by colon your name a uh, couple spaces in between there of course it's gonna go there stop and save control s it's good to do that now and let's animate and what we'll do is go up to our animations tab and then it's very important to do this next step this is one part of PowerPoint that has changed dramatically since the last version so go to animations tab click on the animations pane notice the on the right side the animation pane will come up everything you animate will show up in this animation pane and you can do for more things with it after that okay on the first slide everything animates and what you must remember on slide one the title slide the very first item on the very first slide always animates on the mouse click so you'll animate it but then you must um, also s make the start to be on click so let's animate it first warrior citrus um, should come in um, dissolve in so we'll pick that for our animation effect now they have these effects up here and you may or may not see the one you want if not then go to the um, more button which is just the arrow down and you may not even see it here like you're normally used to seeing it however if you want to if you want to see it the way it was in the previous versions of office then go down to more entrance effects and then you'll see the screen that we're all um, most comfortable with so this one is dissolve in and I'll just say okay and the start is going to be on the click so I'm going to go over here to the animation pane click on the down arrow and I'm going to say start on click why is that for the very first item on the very first slide well it's so you can be in control of when you want the slideshow to start you do not want it to start without you so you want to set always that first item on the mouse click the second item the orange man he follows on in this title bar area so we're gonna animate him he's a little more dramatic he's gonna be boomerang so we're gonna go up to same thing and select him and then we select more entrance effects and we'll go down to slide down to boomerang which is under exciting and say okay 
Now, he does not start on the click. Instead, he starts after previous because we want him to follow the title, the initial title graphic. And then at this, the next point we want to animate is a leader in citrus management. Uh, that one we want to use um, dissolve in and by letter. We're going to slow it down a little bit. So we'll pick dissolve in again. which I need to slide up to see that one. Dissolve in. You see it show up in your animation pane. And the start needs to be after previous. One more thing we're going to do to tweak this one is to make it come in by letter. So I'm going to go to Effect Options. That's one of my choices here. And just on that text box, Instead of having the text under the Effect tab, Animate Text, all at once, I'm going to change that to By Letter. And I even have the ability to change the delay between letters. And I'm going to bump it up to 15%. Say OK. It just kind of gives it kind of a slowed down whoosh effect as it goes across the screen. You'll see when I play it. And then Presented By, we need to add animation to that as well. That's also going to be... Uh, fly in actually after previous so let me activate it and fly in is one of your initial ones here you can click on that one it's fine um, fly in though and we want to make sure that the effect option now there's another effect options up here this usually I use it to adjust the direction I want this to fly in uh, from bottom I don't want it to fly in from top because I don't want it going over anything that already exists on the slide. So I want it, I'm just going to leave it on from bottom. Or I could have said from the left or something like that. That would have been okay. And at this point, I need to adjust the start on this to be after previous because only on the title slide, the first thing is on the click. Everything else is now after previous. And obviously, there is the play button up here, but that doesn't take into account any mouse clicks at all. It just runs right through it. If you want to see it as it would appear on the slideshow, I recommend that you go down here to the bottom where you have the projector screen, the tiny little projector screen, and you click on that, and then that shows you your slideshow like it would appear normally. Now, again, only the background should be showing initially until you're ready to start. When you're composed and ready to start your slideshow, then you can click. And everything should come up. And that's why we put Warrior Citrus title graphic on the mouse click so you're in control of when it starts. Okay, let me hit escape on my keyboard to go back to my edit mode here. This slide is now complete, so I obviously want to stop and save. So do your control S to save. If for some reason you did get your order wrong, you do have these nice reorder buttons down here you can use if you need to. Um, we can click over to slide two now on your slide sorter on the far left and this is our going to be our outline slide notice this is the title graphics already in place we don't need to do anything to it we do not want it to animate because our general rule in PowerPoint if it animates on a previous slide whether it be text or graphics do not animate it again on the next slide so we leave these alone we make sure there's no animation associated with these two things on slide two and beyond so now we do need all the new stuff does need to be animated so let's get it on the screen we're going to insert a text box that says outline and we need to format that for uh, times new roman 48 point bold yellow and then you can type outline in there Good time to center it on the slide, so stretch your text box from oops, edge to edge. And center that. You may want to bounce it up just a little bit more. Okay. And then we want we have some bulleted points here. Bulleted points were a big part of PowerPoint because those are your talking points. And you want to be in control of those. So let's get those set up in a text box first. And I'll just do one text box uh, for all of these. And let's format it. Again, they want us to use Times New Roman. 36 point. A little bit different size now. Uh, bold. And this time it's going to be white. And also, because it's bulleted points, you need the bullet. So let's go over to Paragraph Ribbon and select the bullet. 
and you can at this point start typing company history now when you hit enter you automatically get a new bullet now um, let me widen this text box so that it's not so cramped up on the screen technology I would really like that showing on line 2 not 3 so that looks a lot better like that and um, several things we're going to do here as we animate this. This is everything's placed on the slide. And I, my general rule is if everything's placed on the slide, I'll do a control S to save it. And then I'll go up and start animating. Now, remember, only animate the new stuff. Outline's new, so let's animate it. Again, that's going to go to the animations tab. We're going to use um, dissolve in. To begin with and then it's obviously by letter so I'm going to um, tweak it just a little bit by going to effect options instead of all at once say by letter just like we did in the program title and then the bullet effects well we all, we like to use blinds horizontal for that but there's others obviously that would work just as well and so blinds is under basic so blinds is there okay now, a couple things with the bullets. I need to. I like for them to dim uh, after I move on to the next point. I also like them to come in one bullet per mouse click. If I left it alone right now, uh, all three bullets would come in at one time, and I don't want that. So this is the way we we um, tweak it to make it work our way. So with this animated with blinds horizontal, you see it in the animation pane now. Let's make it dim. Uh, as it leaves that point and goes to the next point and also let's make it come in one bullet per mouse click so this is the way we do it we do it all within the animation pane so click on the down arrow go to effect options and where first of all it says don't dim that's your clue so that's under effect tab after animation don't dim we want to make, pick a nice dim color uh, everything's different every dim color is different it just depends on the background color and the font color you want something less obvious than the font color but it still shows up on the background so let's go to more colors uh, typically on this show a gray looks pr pretty good not as bright as white but yet yeah, still shows up on that particular background so the gray sh fills in here nicely uh, we also want to go to the text animation tab and this is how we split it out to come in and as three separate bullets on the mouse click so instead of as one object let's change it to by first level paragraphs not that user friendly of a term but yet that's what it wants to see to make that happen so say okay make sure these are on the mouse click so let me say start on click let's um, get our projector button down at the bottom so where it says slideshow and let's see what it looks like well there's one little error right there I can tell outline didn't come up automatically it should have so let me make sure and the reason it didn't come up is because I didn't set it to after previous so let's go to start after previous for that outline where this is on the mouse click talking points bullet points will always be on the mouse click alright subtitles will always be set to after previous for their starts okay so let me go back and play that again uh, fix that so do it again outline should come up after previous and wait on you and when you're ready to go through your talking points you click you talk about company history we're going to talk about current growth care technology notice the dim effect going on uh, citrus industry outlook and then we're done with outline slide notice they've all dimmed now to a gray and it helps uh, the dim color helps your audience keep up with which point you're on because their level of attention will fade in and out as you go through the slideshows usually now good time to stop and save we've got all those little things worked out so that's some basic slides one and two um, basic CIS 101 PowerPoint knowledge that you should have and that completes our lesson for today thank you